hello friends today we will go through a very important topic and that is soul mate many people subscribe to the idea that there is a single right person out there for each and every one and some believe that this is determined by the stars and some are in the pervasive notion that the soulmate is chosen by the creator himself now implicit in both views is the idea that human love has its origin in the heavens rather than on the terra firma what people forget is that the soul cannot mate with anything or anyone the soul cannot mate with anything or anyone and nor does the soul need a mate actually when we speak of the soul we are speaking of the absolute and boundless only that which is limited needs a mate actually why would the boundless ever ever try to seek a partner and why do people actually seek a mate it could be for many reasons let us come to each one of them it could be for physical reasons and we call that sexuality and it can be quite beautiful and creative it could be for mental reasons and we call that companionship and that too is very beautiful it could be for emotional reasons and the emotional reasons we call that love and this part this legendary extolled part is the sweetest experience among all of them we being humans cannot deny that certainly the physical the physical compatibility companionship and love can make life wonderful but if you are honest with yourself you cannot deny the anxiety that follows through such a arrangement it is wise to be honest about the limitations and conditions within which a relationship operates and the advantage of being realistic is that when you are confronted by limitations tomorrow you will find a mature way to deal with them but most people create limitations they use terms like soulmate or proclaim their relationship is made in heaven this is purely a level of self deception and the the disillusionment 
which is caused because of this self deception is inevitable now we come to one more part very important part that uh, about marriage is there something wrong with marriage certainly not and not at all marriage is in fact or can be a very pleasant experience as long as you know it is not the ultimate if you have too many romantic delusions even if you are married to the most wonderful person it will definitely crash because you cannot delude yourself forever if you want to live sensibly and joyfully it is important to remember marriage is a human arrangement not a celestial one it is true that certain karmic connections may draw people towards each other however this does not mean that these will be ideal relationships the success of these relationships will purely depend on the maturity and sensitivity with which with which we actually approach them love is certainly one of the most beautiful qualities a human being is capable of and the beauty of love is that many cultures have suppressed love others have tried to export it to heaven but love is of this planet and it is deeply human why should we deny this part love does not need an object love is simply a quality as we just discuss now that love does not need an object it is simply a quality if the person you love is not in your physical presence you are still capable of loving them if the people you love cease to exist you still continue to love them this means that you are using people around you as mere stimuli to find expressions for this innate quality love that is within you if you bring sufficient awareness to your discriminatory intelligence love is the only way you can be love is not about what you do love is the way you are love is simply life longing for itself this is something very deep love is simply life longing for itself this longing is essentially to become all inclusive boundless 
it is only when love becomes all inclusive that you touch the boundless and that is when you realize a simple truth that the soul does not need a mate it never has i think this last part that when you realize a simple truth that the soul does not need a mate because it is boundless it is limitless it does not have any physical form and that which does not have any physical form and which is limitless does not need a mate so uh, there had been many questions which people had been asking me so i got this very beautiful small talk shared by sadguru jaggi vas vasudev ji and sadguru jaggi ji he answers all these questions very well and he has always been telling us that what is creativity and all such things about the physical being the love part and the things which are going on today that's all i have answered this question on the soulmate part and the physical part everything is answered in this thank you so much for watching it please share your views and comments below in the video thank you once again thank you to satguru jaggi vasudev ji also for helping me find to your answers thank you